All right, so we're back now for episode four. This will be the final episode of the G8. So we're gonna get this one polished, nibbed up, back together, show it to you guys all finished up. So you guys know if you follow the channel, the first thing I do is go in the booth while it's taped up, because this is the best place to see any of your dirt. So a lot of you guys said the finish was perfect. It is a nice finish, but it does have some dirt in it. So we're gonna knock down any of the dirt nibs and you're gonna wanna use a hard block. I'll leave everything that I'm using in the description of this video. That way you guys can get your hands on it and get the same type of result. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is identify some dirt and here is a decent sized nib. So we're gonna go ahead and start out with a 1200 grit. We're gonna mark our dirt while we're in the booth because to me, this is the best place that you're gonna actually be able to see it. So I just wanna mark it. You don't have to sand it all the way out but I use the booth to help me see the dirt, feel the dirt. You guys know you can also feel for dirt if you're not able to see it as well. So just run your hand around it. We've got another one here, a small one, and then a little one right there. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go around this thing here quick, mark the nibs, and then get this thing out of the booth and start the buffing and polishing stage of this video. So I found a couple up here in the actual fender. We're gonna go ahead and mark them. We're not gonna be flat sanding this car. It's not gonna be needed, but we do not wanna have any dirt in it. So we're gonna go ahead and get them checked out now, mark them, and uh, this is a very clean paint job, so we don't have much trash in it. So we had a couple dirts on the fender and then a couple on the other side, and I think that's all we're gonna be dealing with here on this one, so. All right, so here's the front bumper, and I'm not gonna lie, Mikey was right. He did get a nice job on this actual bumper. He got a clean job. We're not gonna give him the credit for that. All he did was prep it out and uh, we blew it off. He did wipe and clean it. So we're kind of a 50-50 deal on this one. I think together this bumper came out beautifully and this was a very beat up bumper. This was probably the worst part on the car that this thing had was uh, sun faded as well. It had some damage on it up here around the actual area where the Pontiac logo goes. So not bad, Mike. All right, so now that we have our dirt nibs identified we're going to go ahead and we're going to refine them up so we hit these with a 1500 and a 2000 grit so what i like to do now is use a trizac just to refine this up that way you can buff it nice and easy and you don't have to do a lot of polishing on it so we're going to go ahead now that we've got this identified we've blocked them down with the 1500 and the 2000 we'll go ahead and hit it with our 3000 trizac and get this refined up so You'll need to have water when you're using the Trizac. You can do it by hand. I like to go ahead and get it on my DA. Get a little bit of water. And that way you can just spray it down. And that's gonna make it a lot easier to buff and that's gonna give you a nicer shine once it's all done. So let's go ahead and hit all these nibs with the Trizac 3000 and then we'll get into the polishing stages. And you can use this by hand. You can take it right off of here, put a block on it, or even use your hand because it is a little bit of a thicker pad. So you're not going to really leave line marks in it, especially with a 3000. So now just go ahead and hit this with a microfiber. Make sure it's clean. That way you don't scratch the areas around the actual nibs. Get that cleaned off, look at it, make sure your nib is sanded completely gone. You don't wanna have little round areas around the dirt. But you guys can see here, that's gonna give it a nice shine with that 3000 grit. And it's gonna make it that much easier to polish. So we'll go ahead and get these wiped off here. We got one spot in the back that I told you, we just happened to notice as I was checking it over. But this job definitely came out clean and this clear held its gloss nicely, so. Shout out to Eastwood on a nice holdout the next couple of days later on the clear still looking shiny. So let's go ahead and get this fender here polished up and that way Mike can start building this thing. All right, so you guys see here, we have the compound now on the spot. We're gonna be using this here yellow foam pad. You guys will find these on my website, candyland.com. If you wanna pick up a set of three, they come with the compound, the polishes and everything you need to get it done. So. Make sure your pad is lubed up good, especially in a valley like this. You're gonna wanna make sure it's lubed. That way you don't have any chance of burning it. So let's go ahead and get this section polished up. 
So that's how easy it is once you refine it with the 3000, you really don't have to do a lot of polishing because you've refined it so fine to where it polishes up quickly. So that's that stage, then we'll go into our polish and then we'll finish it out with our fine polish. But you guys can see there, it's got a beautiful shine, the dirt's gone. And then once we get done, we'll hit it once the car is built with this here blue and then the blue pad. So, all right, so that's the way I like to do it, especially on a black vehicle because everything scratches black, you guys know that. And so once he's getting this thing built, his fingerprints are gonna be all over it and I'm gonna wanna final polish it once it's assembled. So that's just the way that I like to do it, especially on a black car. So I get them nibbed, I get them polished up with the black and then once the car is done, we'll go over it with the blue and the bigger uh, seven inch pad. So that's the way we do it. Now we're gonna go ahead and let Mike get this thing all built. All right, Mike's got his vents going in, and Mike's very proud of these vents that his buddy made for him. So, IPF Racing made these with the uh, 3D printer, and I'll tell you what, they fit in there nice. So, he did a good job on it, and it finishes up the hood. So, Mike's out here in the sun because it is nice weather out here right now, and it's actually windy and breezy, and you can see what he's doing. And I see he's got fingerprints all over this thing already, so that's why I told you we'd fine-tune it once this thing is fully built. All right, so you guys seen they clean the windows with their special cleaner. That's gonna treat the glass as well as the area where they're gonna put their urethane. That way they get a good adhesion. And now this is a new windshield. The one that was in it was all delammed and it definitely needed to be replaced. So this is gonna be another nice step up, giving it a nice new windshield in it. And then he bought new moldings for the edge of the windshield. So that's gonna be a nice touch. All right, so while Mike is building the car, I have the headlights now in the booth. You guys see we sanded them down with a 600 grit, hit them with an adhesion promoter, and then we're moving into our tinted black. So we put a little bit of black inside the mix and clear in the water base, and it's gonna give it a nice look and hide some of that yellowing from the aged light. So sometimes you'll get that aging going on even if you just clear them. So what I like to do is put a little bit of black in the clear, base and then blow dry it here you guys see it's starting to come alive and then we're going to go ahead and hit it with our normal clear coat and that's going to freshen these lights up that way they're going to look a lot nicer and they're going to be cleaned up for the front end of the car I seen him thinking he was 18 again in this thing all cleaned up peeling out i think it looks good it came out nice and wet looking and it's nice man and colors spot on to the original color so i'm happy 
good i'm super happy all right so let me show you guys the full walk around of the vehicle this is it here all done we are still waiting on some emblems mike's not sure what he's going to do for the emblems on it as far as maybe blacking them out but this is it all done you guys see it definitely came out nice and uh the eastwood company has some good products so check out the website even if you need some tools for the job they got spray guns sanders and everything you're going to need to get your car looking fresh just like this one does you guys see what we had before an old faded out you know what and now we got it looking clean with eastwood there it is all finished up and i'm sure we'll be seeing more of this one around the shop once i get my s10 finished up oh did i say s10 or my ls that's what i meant ls finished up and then we'll see what Mike's really got under the hood of this baby. All right, guys. So that's the end of the video. I hope you guys like all four episodes of the G8 with Eastwood. They definitely have a nice product. You guys see that here. And everything you need is on the website. So make sure you give this one a thumbs up from me as well as Eastwood. And uh, let me know what you guys think of the job all finished up. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.